I guess we all made our own rules about how we wanted the album to to sound like. Me, for instance, I, I, I wanted to have more toms than I used before, than I was comfortable with. <laughs> bigger drum set, um, bigger sounds. I also just wanted to uh, fully play by my gut feeling. Often the first thing that comes to your mind is the best thing to do because it's, it comes more naturally. Uh, there's a lot of favorite drum moments on this album. In the first half of uh, uh, Black Hole Earth, Jonathan plays uh, and he has like a ride pattern, crank, 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 cutter, cutter, which is really cool. And then he uh, turns it over to play, which is my favorite part. Previously, I've only used my uh, Rickenbacker bass. This time, I wanted to experiment more with different sounds and like explore a little bit more in the bass uh, world. Try some new effects, uh, bass sounds. Uh, so just like really explore uh, my instruments more. One of the coolest bass parts for me is at the, the Black Hole Earth bridge when we we'll bring it all down and then Steiner starts with this uh, almost like tapping kind of thing but it's not at all but it sets a cool vibe and then we also uh, did a cool thing with the space echoes like all of the other available guys in the room had to play it like an instrument all together and that was also a cool moment in the studio. capture the sound of the room, uh, have natural organic sounds. I use different instruments this time. Uh, usually I just use uh, my guitar and my amp, but this time I borrowed a guitar from, from Kim and yeah, different instruments. Similar to the my favorite bass moment is when, and this is on uh, Eternal Return, when the song has reached its, its climax, then there is only guitar and bass playing the, uh, the theme in a really mellow way. That is, that's a really special moment. Well, in general, uh, I really think this album was like technically a lot more difficult than previous albums. Uh, the Deluge and um, Eternal Return has some really intricate parts that uh, we all struggled with. We just had to, had to map it out in a comfortable way. That was really difficult to, to get right, actually. <laughs> Can't hear it that well, but uh, on Eternal Return, Steiner has this uh, really cool uh, uh, bass melody or solo almost and I play this uh, widdly widdly <laughs> guitar bit uh, in sync with a uh, really busy drum pattern. Sound is not really distorted, it's a pretty clean sound and yeah, it's uh, hard to pull off but luckily it's <laughs> quite low in the mix. <laughs> the same for a really proggy part in the middle of Eternal Return where we have a lot of stops and uh, fast uh, grooves and riffs. It's all tout uh, kjør, as we say. I really like the song Reptile Empire. Uh, this is the last song uh, that we made. It sounds really young, it sounds really fresh, it's like, like energetic and, and powerful. I think maybe the bridge in Black Hole Earth is my favorite from, from the whole record. Uh, with how like the drum part uh, builds and, uh, and you have this amazing bass uh, technique going on and the more electronic uh, influenced guitar part. So yeah, Black Hole Earth. Uh, it's gonna be Eternal Return. 
It has so many different feels to it and uh, emotions. And I think we, we managed to pull all the strings together, but you kind of have to listen through the, the whole song to get it. But if you have the patience, uh, you will be rewarded. Thank <laughs> you.